There are a range of different cable types that you might run into uh, working in FPV and if you need to remove one of the wires, you could obviously cut them, but that's a destructive way to get to your end result. Another option is to remove the pins from the connector type uh, that they're uh, attached to. So, uh, for instance, using a cable like this uh, for a transmitter, let's say I wanted to get this yellow wire out. We'll take a razor blade, hold down the connector, and basically these little rectangles are the part of the connector that's holding the pins into place. If I just get in there and pry that connector up, be careful not to pull it out, out will come the pin. So that's a pretty simple way to get in there and quickly remove a pin like that. In this case, it's really simple just to put the pin right back in if you need. You just need to figure out where the orientation of it is. And there's a little tiny metal tab that sticks up. It's probably hard to see here. Um, but it's on there and you can spot it if you're looking at it visually. You simply get the pin back into the slot and it will click in and hold firm. So that's a quick and easy way to do that. Uh, there are other cables like servo cables that commonly come up where you may want one removed. So in this case, uh, maybe we want to remove the middle power pin for whatever reason. So you'd simply separate your wires and prepare them. And same deal with the servo connector. You hold onto the wire that you want. It takes a little bit of two-handed coordination. But you get your blade down under the pin, lift up the tab, and if you do it right, out will come the pin. So that makes for an easy way I could tape this up, put a little heat shrink on this, and now I've removed the uh, power pin in this case. Again, same deal if later you decide you want it back in, you just orient the, the pin tab, slip it in, and it will stay now firm. So a very quick and fast fix to adjusting the pins on that. There are other types you might find uh, similar used for immersion and fat shark gear. Now these are a little bit more challenging, but the same kind of deal. Basically they have a little metal tab pin that sticks up from each uh, wire that goes in and that is holding itself into place. So in this case, let's say we want to remove this power pin. We would push in as far as we can so that that pin isn't biting down. Again, it's probably hard to see, but if you adjust the cables, you can see those pins move back and forth to hold themselves into place. What you can do is push them in so that the slack is off, there's going to be a little metal tab. If you push that tab down with your razor, the pin will come out. I didn't get it quite far down enough there. Let's push that down all the way. I'm still not quite getting it, so let me push it back in. And if I push the pin down all the way, there it goes and comes out. So again, this is a, a, a modification that is a really simple and easy way to do it without cutting and destroying the cable and you can always put that back if you want. Now in the case of these you're going to need to re-bend that little pin back up so that it can seat itself once it's back in. Now that's a little bit more challenging because you you want to make sure you don't bend the pin and break it off. So you kind of work it back up so that it's standing up and once that's the case you can slip it back in and if you've done it right it will hook in there. Now I didn't do it right in this case. Let's try one more time here to sort of bend that guy up. Once you can bend it properly, and that may have been a little too much, it should seat itself in. There we go. So there I've got it back in and it you can see will line up like the others down the line here. Um, to seat into place as needed. So that's a quick and easy way to fix that one. And then the only other type of cable that you might encounter, well, you might encounter a number of them, but this is the same concept applied across all of them. Uh, 
same deal with the JST type connector. It's these pins that are self-holding. So you just take off a little bit of the slack, you push the pin down, and you can slide the pin out. Then if you need to put it back in, you find where that little tab was that you just pushed down, uh, which is here, if I'm not mistaken, there it is. Then you slip the pin back into the connector and it holds firm. So that's a quick and easy way to modify some of your cables if you need without having to cut them. It's a pretty simple solution. And once you do a few of them, you can get pretty used to uh, changing those in, in short order.